Hello everyone and welcome to Metagame Mastery. It is Masters 25 preview season, day four, and if you like modern, then you're gonna love our news today. If you enjoy our content, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Big time! Go time! Let's go! First up, we have a foreign language preview. It is called Tree of Redemption from Innistrad, and I'm gonna pull up the original art so that we can read what it does. It is a 4 CMC, 3 colors, and a green 013 plant with the fender, and you can tap it, exchange your life total with Tree of Redemption's toughness. So it's kind of neat and limited. You can play this and maybe cheat yourself a few extra life, which is fun, but what this card's really good for is in Defender Tribal decks or Duran the Siege Tower, it's a EDH. This card gets sick, becoming a 13-13 beater for only 4 mana. Very cool reprint. Next up, we have a limited all-star, Watch Wolf, getting reprinted. He is 2 CMC, green-white for a 3-3 Wolf. No downside, just straight value, 3-3 for 2 mana. Pick these up when, you, when you're drafting. Corsair of Crufix is a 3 CMC, 1 colorless green green, 2 4 enchantment creature. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may play the top card of your library if it is a land card, and whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain a life. Great to see this getting a reprint. Lots of people love this in eternal formats. Just general um, landfall goodies. And Coalition Relic gets reprinted with new art. 3 CMC artifact. You can tap it, add one mana of any color to your mana pool, or you can tap it to put a charge counter on Coalition Relic. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, remove all charge counters from Coalition Relic. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool for each charge counter removed this way. So, it's both mana fixing, mana ramp, and it's kind of a mana battery, because with, when you put the charge counter on it, next turn, you get two extra mana. So you could drop this, say, turn three, and be able to drop your six drop on turn four. Very powerful stuff. Very good card. And here we have Exclude. This is going to be a limited bomb. It's three CMC, two colorless, and a blue instant. Counter target creature spell, draw a card. This doesn't look like much for constructive purposes, but when you're drafting, this thing is an all-star. Spike Shot Goblin is 3 CMC, 2 colorless, and a red for a 1-2 Goblin Shaman. You can pay a red, tap it, Spike Shot Goblin deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. Very good with pump spells. Very powerful. Uh, acting as both removal and direct damage burn. Luminarch Ascension is the classic control kill condition. It's 2 CMC, 1 colorless, and a white enchantment. At the beginning of each opponent's end step, if you didn't lose life this turn, you may put a quest counter on Luminarch's Ascension. You can pay 1 colorless and a white to create a 4-4 white angel creature token with flying. Activate this ability only if the Luminarch Ascension has 4 or more quest counters on it. Super powerful card. In the same set as Ensnaring Bridge? Ugh. And on top of that, this card is exceptionally good in Commander. So right now it's running about $8 each. Pick, uh, there's going to be a little bit of a sale while the, uh, this set's new and the market's saturated. Pick up your copies uh, while they're cheap. Is It Chemister is 3 CMC, 2 colorless and a red for a 1-3 Goblin Wizard with haste. You can pay one red, tap him, and exile target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. You can pay one red and one colorless, tap him, sacrifice is it chemister, cast any number of cards exiled with is it chemister without paying their mana costs. Kind of a really neat way to really storm off in one turn. Fortune Thief, 5 CMC. Four colorless and a red for a zero one one human rogue. Damage that would reduce your life total to less than one reduces it to one instead with a morph cost of red red. Just a really cool kind of red worship. Mystic Snake is four CMC, one colorless, green, blue, blue for a two two snake creature that has flash. And, and when he enters the battlefield, you can counter target spell. 
just a great value card. Great for flickering too, which uh, apparently there will be a flicker sub theme uh, in this for in limited. Laquatus' champion is 6 CMC, 4 Colas, Black Black, for a 6-3 Nightmare Horror. When the Laquatus' champion enters the battlefield, target player loses 6 life. When he leaves the battlefield, that player gains 6 life. He also has pay 1 black, regenerate Laquatus' champion. So this guy's really cool, especially with Flicker. Way back in the day when he first came out, people were coming up with ways to cheat a full play set of these. Uh, onto the battlefield and just life drain your opponent out for 24. Next up, we have the iconic Elvish Piper. 4 CMC, 3 colorless, and a green for a 1 1 Elf Shaman. You can pay 1 green, tapper. You may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. What? No paying casting cost. It just comes directly into play. Super powerful. Of course, she is fragile, but wow, what a way to just drop bombs. And when you do so, they cannot be countered. Super powerful. Pact of Negation is every combo player's favorite counterspell. It's zero CMC instant uh, counter target spell at the beginning of your next upkeep. Pay three colorless, blue, blue. If you don't, you lose the game. Everybody loves... Th this is the best card to protect your combo because... What it does is it prevents your opponent from countering uh, your combo pieces or interrupting your combo. And since you're going to basically be winning that turn anyways, you never have to pay the additional casting costs. Right now, this thing will run you about $30 to $35. So this is a very welcome reprint at Rare. Hell's Caretaker is 4 CMC. Three colorless and a black for a 1-1 one, one creature horror. You can tap it, sack a creature, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate this ability only during your upkeep. Really cool uh, reanimation piece. And speaking of reanimation, they have an answer built right into the set. It's rest in peace. Possibly the best answer. It's... 2 CMC, 1 colorless and a white enchantment. When rest in peace enters the battlefield, exile all cards in all graveyards. If a card or token would be put into the graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. Ouch! This is a great, this is the best answer to any strategy that abuses its graveyard. And right now it'll run you about $10. So this is a very welcome reprint. And here we have Cloud Shift. Possibly the best flicker card of all time. It's only one white mana instant. Exile target creature you control. Then return that card to the battlefield under your control. So there is no delay. It happens right away. This is very powerful when you're stacking triggers like Laquatus' Champion. And this is going to combo with a ton of great stuff already revealed today. Including our next card, Cloud Blazer. Already getting reprinted from Kaladesh. 5 CMC, 3 colorless, white, blue for a 2-2 human scout with flying. And when she enters the battlefield, you gain 2 life and draw 2 cards. Very, very nice option with Cloud Shift. Next up, we have a Renewed Faith, 3 CMC, 2 colorless, and a white instant. You gain 6 life. It also has Cycling. Uh, 1 colorless and a white, discard this card, draw a card. And when you cycle Renewed Faith, you may gain 2 life. Yeah, life gain cards exist. They don't win you games, but they're there. And here's a big one. Ancient Stirrings, getting a reprint at Uncommon. It's one green mana sorcery. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a colorless card from among them and put it onto the battlefield. Then put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Dang, son. You will... Uh, recognize this from every Tron build in Modern, in uh, Pauper. This thing was a common that's running about $4 a piece right now. Very welcome reprints. Oh, and here we go with Simeon Spirit Guide. 3 CMC, 2 colorless and red for a 2 2 Ape Spirit. You can exile Simeon Spirit Guide from your hand to add 1 red mana to your mana pool. Just super fast 
uh, mana ramp for your combo decks. This thing, it, it will run you about $8 a piece right now, getting reprinted at Uncommon. Very welcome addition. And here we have Brian Stoutarm, 4 CMC, 2 colorless, red white, for a 4 4 legendary giant warrior that has lifelink. You could also pay one red mana, tap him, and sack another creature. Brian Stoutarm deals damage equal to the sacrifice creature's power to target player. So, he's a fling on a stick with lifelink. Very powerful. Even in limited, you're, you're paying four mana for a 4-4 four, four with lifelink. This is a very good card across a lot of formats and really one of the coolest Boros commanders out there. Not worth much financially, but you'll when you're playing him, you'll always be happy to see him. And here we have a Chroma, Angel of Wrath. 8 CMC, 5 colorless, white, white, white for a 6-6 six, six legendary angel with, here we go, flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, haste, pro black, and pro red. This is one of the original all-time greatest reanimation targets. She does it all. She's so hard to kill, and she will just wreck your opponents. Super good card. So glad to see her get, get reprinted with the From the Vault alternate art, no less. This will be the first time this is available non-foil. Very, very cool. And here we have Kindle. No, not Amazon Kindle. Kindle the Burn spell. It's 2 CMC, 1 colorless and a red instant. Kindle deals X damage to target creature or player where X is... Uh, two plus the number of cards named Kindle in all graveyards. Love this card, especially in limited, where there's no limit to the number of uh, copies you can put in your deck uh, as long as you continue picking these up in draft. And if your opponent happens to be running some, it just powers up your Kindles as well. Same thing goes for Accumulated Knowledge. 2 CMC, 1 colorless, and a blue instant draw card. Then draw cards equal to the number of accumulated knowledge in all graveyards. Super sick! Not only getting you value, uh, additional value every time you play this card, but on top of that, you have no limit to the number of copies you can run in limited formats. And uh, if your opponent happens to be running some, it just powers up your own. Awesome! Well, that's all for today. If you enjoy our content, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also, we have an Amazon affiliate store. If you click on the link and pre-order your Masters 25 or really anything off of Amazon, a small percentage comes back to help the channel. This has been Metagame Mastery. 